Hey guys, it's So Fashion Week TV and I am coming through with another video for you guys. Now this video is going to be about gastric surgery and the nutritional guidelines that you are, you would be expected to follow should you decide to have the surgery. Now as you guys know, I am scheduled to have a revision from lap band to VSG surgery on October 7th, 2016. So I've already had my nutritional counseling visit, so I figured I would come on here and just share with you guys some of the things that I've learned. So as you know, um, gastric surgery is a life-changing event that is going to require some unique dietary needs in order for you to be successful. Following these guidelines will help to avoid nutritional deficiencies and maximize your weight loss. So you're going to want to follow this, right? So before your surgery, your surgeon may instruct you to go on to a liquid diet, and that's typically within 14 days or two weeks prior to your surgery. If your surgeon does not recommend the liquid diet for you, you are not required to do it. Some surgeons may also um, have their own preoperative diet that you need to follow, so um, just also be on alert for that as well. Um, your surgeon may require something completely different than a liquid diet. Other surgeons may recommend that you taper down your diet at least 20 to 10% prior to surgery. Being prepared is, is most important prior to surgery. So um, that means getting all of your nutritional supplements, your protein, um, and all of the things that you're going to need for the first phase of the diet, which is a liquid diet, um, which you can expect to be on for 14 days or two weeks. Some of the supplements that you can expect to take following your VSG surgery would include a chewable or liquid adult vitamin, a chewable or liquid calcium supplement with magnesium and vitamin D, and a sublingual vitamin B12. These supplements are typically not started until phase two. Other important things to have on hand um, to assist with you getting in all of your uh, nutrition would include measuring cups. And this is to weigh your food by volume and not weight. Knowing how to read food labels will also help in your success with VSG surgery. Knowing the difference between proteins, carbohydrates, and fat. Some proteins include animal products, cheese, beans, and soy. Carbohydrates include all grains, fruit, milk, yogurt. Fats include oil, cheese, butter, sour cream, cream cheese, salad dressing. And also important to note that fats are hidden in almost all foods. It is also important to understand that there are going to be behavior modifications required in order for you to be successful with weight loss surgery. Those things include eating slowly, cutting your food into small tiny bits and pieces, chewing each piece of food thoroughly, chew your food. Sipping all fluids, gulping will promote vomiting and discomfort. And lastly, observing the 30 minute rule. That means not combining your food with your liquids. There needs to be a separation of at least 30 minutes. It is also important to try to get into the habit um, pre-op of getting your activity in. Um, they recommend about 30 minutes a day of light walking or any type of movement, but you need to get in some physical activity um, up to 30 minutes prior to your surgery. Understanding your fluid needs is also important. You're going to need at minimum 48 ounces of fluid per day and at maximum 64 ounces of fluid. And this includes non-sugary, non-carbonated beverages and no straws because they cause gas. So I hope that you guys have found this video somewhat helpful just to give you a slight idea of what you can expect from a nutritional perspective um, going forward with having any type of weight loss surgery, um, in particular gastric sleeve surgery. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys. Bye.